quite make it. They had a they had their first child this year, and so it was a little hard to get out of town. But I thought I'd kind of bring him along with me and uh, sing one of his. There's a song called Past Yourself. And uh, I kind of got into a fight with him about this song because I played it for so long that I kind of feel like it's mine. And when I heard him play it one time, he changed something, and I, I said, you can't do that. That's my song. But uh, he wrote this song after seeing this couple in this uh, coffee shop in, in Ontario. And the girl was just pouring her heart out. And the guy was just oblivious to what was happening. And uh, tried finishing her sentences, and, you know, it wasn't working or whatever. But he, he thought this thing was going fairly well. And uh, it was just kind of obvious he was, he was missing who she was. Probably seeing what he wanted to see. It's called Past Yourself. You don't know me as well as you thought. You don't know me that well. You don't see me quite as clear as you think you see. You don't see me that clear. I am not what you tell yourself. I am not what you're trying to sell me as I am actually something else you might see if you look past your picture of me look past yourself and into me I don't like all the things that you think I like I don't like all that you do Don't despise everything that you think I do Don't hate all that you do and I am not what you tell yourself I am not what you're trying to sell me past your picture of me, look past yourself and into me. And I am not what you tell yourself, I am not what you're trying to sell me as I am actually. Something else you might see If you look past your picture of me Look past yourself and into me So the imagination is a, a funny thing, and sometimes you can use it to time travel. You can go back in time to places you've been. You can kind of look into the future the way things might be. But whenever you do that, you bring something back into the present. And uh, about three years ago now, my wife, who gets up really early in the morning to go open at a coffee shop, uh, she was up at about 4.45, and I was still kind of half asleep, and I heard a, a clunk come from the bathroom, and I uh, thought maybe she dropped some soap or something like that, and, and called out her name, and called out her name, and called out her name, and by the third time I shot out of bed, ran in there, and she was sitting on the floor, mouth wide open, eyes wide open, staring at the wall, and I turned her head towards me, and her eyes just went past, they just rolled past. And she wouldn't say anything, she wasn't responding. So I called 911 and while I was on dispatch with them, 
she wasn't responding. No. She wasn't thing. saying anything. She wasn't even making any no noises. Thing. And uh, I think I can fish, but I almost caught For a couple minutes there I thought she's gone, but she's never gonna be the same again. And it's amazing how just a couple minutes of living in that future completely altered the course of the next two years and for the next couple of years after that I would roll over in my sleep and I would check her breathing and I was like half awake when I would do this and when somebody's asleep their breathing's real shallow and so I would startle myself awake because I thought she wasn't breathing or maybe she was cold or something like that and then I would sometimes shake her awake and uh, every once in a while I'll still do it not as so much as before but going to that place where I, I had life without her made me made me appreciate all the little moments I had with her and uh, it's kind of a good wake-up call for me so this is a song I wrote coming out of that time and I found the day too late in a graveyard where your body was laid and I know What I was supposed to do When your breath was close And the day was I'm supposed to 